Hi, this is Wayne Tully, and today I'd like to introduce a collaborative video uh, with me and Dragon Beasts 10. And this is like a YouTube promotion uh, for artists. So if there's any other artists out there um, that would like to get in on the promotion, uh, you know, we can link back to your, your drawing video and, you know, give you some extra promotion um, it's like a monthly um, you know like promotion uh, where we possibly come up with a theme to draw something in a video and you you do the video and then you know you can link you know to other artists or maybe give a shout out to other artists you know who are participating in the monthly drawing promotion so that's just an introduction uh, the video that I've done is drawing a nightmare demon so look out for the link below in the description area uh, which will be the other video by Dragon B Size 10 so cheers now hi there today we're going to draw a nightmare demon. I'm just going to make this slightly bigger, and we're not going to see all the, you know, the the demon. We're just going to show the top half. teeth in there just quickly mark out everything then we can start to Create this top area. Why is an, a nightmare demon could have all this black evil dust? You know, trailing off, almost like black smoke, but it's uh, it could be like extensions of you know this nightmare demon to draw the you know the full you know arms if you don't want to um, well 
probably won't fit, be able to fit him on, on this page but really it's about the focus is on the top half yeah. you know so you can draw like the arms going down you can draw like rags of like you know claws if you want Just quickly sketch them in. Really just work out, you know, what's going to be shaded and what's, you know, going to be light areas. demon um, quick sketch done and um, we're gonna try and keep this all as one main video um, and I'll just put it edit it all together so the next stage will be about you know um, starting to wink some of this uh, you know you know pretty much sorted out the you know shape of it because as I said the focus is gonna be on you know the head and all this evil black swirly stuff at the top so we'll come back to that and so here we have the nightmare demon you know drawing we're just gonna quickly ink it um, quite quickly reason why I'm inking this in pretty quick is you know I want it to look you know just quickly you know just to have a, like an energy to it really you know the drawing I don't want it to be too precise or you know something like that I want especially this top half which is you know the focus of the drawing you know we want all these swirly bits just to you know add something to the you know the drawing and just I really want it to you know like show that this is like a nightmare demon that you you shouldn't really mess with <laughs> if you ever saw you know something like this uh, in real life which is pretty you know unlikely but you know I'll just quickly go through you know small little areas like this quick details quick sketch here
theories on the concept really not you know a totally controlled drawing it's more like the sketch and see what happens you know with the ink pens into demon drawing um, maybe this sort of area will be all maybe just black under there because the focus is right up here um, yeah isn't it pretty not, not much more I can do now except to rub all these pencil lines out and begin the colouring stage so there we go. Hi there, this is the colouring stage of the Nightmare Demon. Uh, I've got a black Crayola twistable pencil and really I just want to start to shade. You know, quite a lot of darkness on this Nightmare Demon. Just do it quite randomly because I want it to be black, shaded darkness, and then we're going to maybe add some blue in there somewhere. Just create a total dark image of a demon. Like follow some of the lines, you know, if you want, and you know, create a darkened image.
I mean, that is we're pretty much going through you know the main uh, skin tone of this uh, demon you know we're avoiding the you know the ripped clothing that we're you know around the demon drawing so we're just trying to shade all this up pretty quick said the focus is up in this top area so shadings out of the way with there. I'm going to start with the blue now. And this is the darker blue. You know we can add other slight areas here and there and everywhere. It's just about trying to blend some of that black you know pencil crayon in with this that blue and then we'll go over you know this with a, a lighter blue which should even things out slightly You were starting to see a nice colour contrast there now. this lighter, lighter blue. Start to press real hard in between there. And you see it starts to blend, 
you know the colours together now really helps quite well I think now rather than do like a time lapse drawing I'm just gonna carry on you know with the blue the dark blue and just go through the whole of the rest of this then come back and then we'll just add in the blue highlights and then we'll work out what colour this is going to be in the next part now we've pretty much finished that blue colour we can get the light blue and start to blend all this lot together and maybe leave some like slight white areas here and there just to add a bit of shine to it the eyes and then leave like a white space at the bottom and so let's carry on all this you know, light blue you know, along this along these parts all the way through you know, the drawing and remember to leave some just light white areas and you know um, I'll come back and I'll, I should have done all that and then we'll try and work on something else on the drawing and maybe still figure out what colour this is going to be um, I might have some ideas, I'm not sure Right now we've uh, done that blue um, I've decided on maybe like a purpley red um, type of ripped shirt or something like that so we'll just start to shade this in there and do it quite fast if you'd like you know got the guiding lines there just to you know guide your your colour in and try and go with the flow of the lines as well. Try and add some shade you know in there shading and tone.
get a red and we'll go over this. Only lightly because Just be real sketchy about it, really, um, as I've done in previous videos. And rather than make this like pink looking, I think we'll add like uh, a layer of yellow, you know, in between the areas, because I don't want it. I don't want him to look all like cool and badass there, and then he's wearing like pink remains of a shirt it'll look a bit daft so we'll try and make it like a contrasting flame colour just for fun Maybe fill in a bit of the mouth, but maybe careful of the, the teeth. Just a bit of shadow there, and we can fill that in with the yellow at a later time, just so we've got there just a bit of contrast there. Contrasting colour is always good on the drawing. some of the colours together you know like I did with that blue the light blue on the skin the idea is not to colour all of it in yellow just certain key areas
try not to go into the blue areas or otherwise you'll be creating a green colour which you don't really want because you want the warm and the cool colours just to contrast leave the teeth white and that area white and so we'll see that demon drawing really the focus is on the top like I've always said before you know and that's how to draw a nightmare demon I mean you can draw it how you want you know just it's just one possible idea so that'll go for yourself <laughs> 